Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bill Lumen. Good afternoon, Patriots. You wonder why it's hot out here. I brought some of that Georgia weather with me. You guys may have or may not have heard of me. Of me. That truck over there that's sitting there with all that, all that uh, don't believe the liberal media stuff on there now, that's my truck. That truck, that truck captured the attention of, uh, let's see, Southern Poverty Law Center. They ain't friendly. Yeah, I thought it was a First Amendment thing. It also captured the attention of, uh, let's see, Occupy Wall Street. It was about the time. It was around Thanksgiving. They needed somebody, some evil, evil corporate individual to attack. They don't know I only have nine employees. I'm not a big corporation. And it also captured the interest of the Secret Service. So Ted Nugent is almost as famous as me. He has yet to answer my email. I was supposed to come up here today, and I was supposed to be on that side stage over there with another gentleman that's a true patriot. His name's Wild Bill for America. Uh, has anybody heard of him? He's one, he's one that I started listening to, and that was when I started drinking tea and quit drinking Kool-Aid. And, uh, and he and I have become good friends. Wild Bill couldn't make it today because he's moving to Alaska. And he's going he's gonna to start doing some good videos up there. His wife got a job up there, so I just thought I'd mention him. I wish he was here, because he's a lot better than I am. Yeah, I've been dubbed Wild Bill 2.0. I'm not quite as polished and not quite as refined as he is. Where's, where's my sign guy that tells me I'm about out of time? I know you. Ah, there you are. Sign gal. They wanted me to come up and just tell you you can survive a liberal attack. They also wanted me to reinforce some things that I believe I believe in, that we need to restore our Constitution. We need to restore it back to our founding fathers' principles, the original Constitution. It, this country was founded by gentlemen that were geniuses, and these gentlemen made it so simple that anybody here could could run this country. Anybody. They didn't make it a. a, a they didn't make it so that it was a career option. When you, you, you didn't have to go to a university and, and uh, take political science. You didn't have to be uh, a, a John Kerry. You didn't have to be uh, Elvis Presley. Yeah, yeah, I think he would make a good senator. Does that be a U.S. citizen? Sir? Does that be a U.S. citizen? U.S. citizen. Hmm. And even now, that may not be the truth. For over 200 years, 236 I think we're sitting at, you have to be a U.S. citizen. And yes, I, I have my doubts about our, the first Occupy that actually occurred was in, in the Oval Office. And I have my doubts as to whether he is a citizen. I think uh, most of this elite that, that we got here, the, these are star players. Most of them are, feel the same way as you do and as I do. Yes, sir. Uh, you told me to hold my mic. I'm new at this this uh, this guest speaking appearance stuff. I've only done it a few times. You know, I usually like I'm unscripted, so I usually like to take a little Q and A. Is there anybody out there who's got a question? You want me to give you the guy's at, uh, na name and address that attacked me last? <laughs> One minute. <laughs> That's on YouTube, by the way. I got a call at 11.16 one night. You can look up Bill Lumen on YouTube, and I made a little video for my Facebook friends. And, uh, and, I, and I give his name and address, or his phone number. He didn't like the calls he got back. You guys are vicious. You're, you're just terrible. Um, I was just here to warm you up and explain the truck, tell you that you, you, yes, you as American citizens, if you're ever attacked by a liberal, you will survive. If you're ever investigated by Secret Service, you and me and Ted Nugent will survive. I'm here to reinforce it. We need to go back to those founding principles. And I'm here to, 
here to kind of get you juiced up and warmed up for our next speaker, which I met last night, and he's an awesome guy. I think it's Stacy. Stacy, our next speaker. I want to bring the uh, guy that's supposed to announce this guy. You see that gentleman is standing there by the steps. He's really going to give you some meat and taters. He's really going to give you some hardcore, interesting stuff that you need to learn about labor. Thank you all. I appreciate your time.